AITA for telling my friend she can't eat? I, 22 female and my, ex, friend 23 female used to like going out a lot. We would frequently eat in the city and since my family is more upper class and hers are more middle working class, I end up paying from 75% 100% of the meals we eat. At first I didn't mind paying. But ever since I started to object, she would make snarky comments like, what daddy didn't pay your trust fund? Or, what's the point of having so much money if you're not gonna spend it on your friends? Or, you're so stingy. You know I don't have as much money as you do. Yet every time we went out she would pick the more expensive and fancy restaurants. And as soon as it's time to pay, she would be like, oh you'll cover the bill, right? Or, sorry I didn't bring my wallet. It's just excuse after excuse with her and I just get so annoyed that last time we went out to eat. I asked her if she would pay her half. She told me, no, I don't have enough money, so I said well then you're not eating. At first she laughed and we she saw my face. She looked at me like, you're joking, right? Single quote. At that point I got so fed up I told her, if you're not willing to pay your half of the meal then. I'm not buying you food. You're a full grown woman with a bank account. Use it. And after she heard that, she got angry and we kept arguing so loudly that we got kicked out of the restaurant. And to top it all off she had the audacity to demand me to call her an Uber because it was my fault. That we got kicked out of the restaurant. Of course I didn't and left her there. But ever since that night, my friends have been blowing up my phone calling me an asshole for leaving her there at 11 p.m. at night. So Reddit, AITA? NTA. Your friend is a freeloader with her hand constantly out. She is using you and gets angry and verbally abusive if you don't buy her what she wants. You told her her free ride was over. Now back it up and walk away from her. You do not need a friend like this. Please 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 stand your ground and don't let anyone ever treat you like that again. You are worthy of friends who care for you. NTA. How I dealt with a person like that is the next time we went out I only brought cash. So I could pay for my share. Suddenly. She did have money to pay for her share. NTA. That's why asking for separate checks right away is always a good idea. She's a user. Your friends have only heard her side of the story. You have the receipts. Show them. If they persist. Block them. I have two best friends. One who earns a quarter of what I do. And one who earns a lot more. The poorer friend always insists on paying her way. Every time. I offer to shout, knowing I can afford it, but she rarely allows it. She has never once made me feel used. She is an amazing friend. The richer friend sneaks off to pay for me all the time. So I pay her back in other ways. I buy her gifts, book and pay for tickets, conspire with her husband to contribute to things. And because I do she keeps paying for me. We have a two-way street going where we're not counting money but looking out for each other. I have never expected her to pay for me and always have money on hand to pay my own way. I've turned down invites when I can't afford it. You never mind helping someone where you can. Or paying when you can. Until you feel obligated to. Good friends don't feel entitled to your money. Good friends will never expect you to pay or do things for you. Good friends won't even ask. Good friends will offer to do or pay their share and never make you feel used. Don't accept this sort of behavior from anyone in your life. It's not your responsibility ever to pay for others. Your friend should not have agreed to go out if they could not afford it. She should have definitely clarified who's paying before she got herself into a situation she didn't like. The audacity and entitlement. Please pick better friends in the future. NTA you have set the boundaries and she didn't like it. NTA she sounds super toxic. 
NTA. You can have rich friends but I don't think I'd ever reach a point with anyone where I would expect the other to pay. Whether it's a friend or relative, regardless of much older or well-off they are, your friend was clearly aware what she was doing. Otherwise when you started to object there wouldn't be snarky or stupid comments like that. NTA. She isn't your friend. She's just another freeloader who believes that you should pay her to spend time with you in the form of expensive meals and gifts. A real friend wouldn't want you for your money. I'm sorry honey. But the fact is she only wants your money. She is treating you like you are just the excess baggage she has to cart around to get it. NTA. You need better friends. I'm sorry this happened. NTA. Not at all. She's a grown woman. She not only mooched, she shamed you for her mooching. Walking home alone will be common for her if this is the type of friend she is. Being the poor friend in a friendship can be annoying but it isn't hard to navigate. The poor friend should always be the one suggesting activities they can afford and should leave the onus on the rich friend to decide if they want to upgrade the activities on their dime. Letting the rich friend pay for things isn't an asshole thing to do. But choosing activities expecting the rich friend to cover it is. NTA. In ta, time for Spongebob to grow up. Yeah, NTA. She wasn't looking to you or a friend. Rather more like a meal ticket. I am sure she got her Uber. Cause she isn't in from of the restaurant right? Keep stepping forward and leave her behind. If your friend is only choosing high-end restaurants because you are paying, then she isn't a friend. She is stepping on you to upgrade her lifestyle. And that isn't cool. You maybe could have asked her if she was going to pay her share before you left for the restaurant. That would have played out a bit milder. It would have the same end result of your friend not eating on your dime and having to go home on her own. Waiting for her to be on the spot to say something and getting loud in public was overkill. Still, how she has been treating you is way worse. I would have dumped her as a friend in a hot minute. That is totally fair. I am teetering between everybody being horrible. And the friend is the ass. Two wrongs don't make a right just because one is severely more wrong. In ta, I think maybe you just couldn't take it anymore. Seeing her so comfortably spending your money without a sign of humbleness or appreciation had to be hard. The louder someone gets, the more wrong they know they are. It's none of her business where your money comes from. NTA. And she is not a friend. So your friends think YTA because you finally stood up for yourself? Would you want anyone you cared for and considered a friend to be treated the way this particular friend treated you? Ex-friend is TA. Your other friends aren't far behind. Find some new friends who value you for something other than your financial status. NTA. I had a friend like this too. I wish I cut her off sooner. Took a while before I learned to set boundaries. We were friends from college up until she had her first child. I would always pay for her food because she only has enough money for her family, boyfriend. After graduation she'd often call me to hang out. She'd tell me the same thing and I'd end up paying for her food. She's almost 10 years older than me BTW. I was 16 or 17 at the time. A few months after she gave birth to her first child she contacted me again to meet up. And I went. When I got there we talked for a bit. Catching up and stuff. Then she dropped the bomb on me. She said, the real reason I ask you to meet up with me is cause I need money to buy my kid diapers. And milk, formula. I got so furious but she begged me and I ended up buying the diapers and milk anyway. I know I was stupid. But I was young. A few months later she invited me again to hang out but told me in advance that her kid and baby daddy were coming with her. I said, yeah sure. 
To which she replied, but we don't have money to buy our meals. Is it okay if we just wait outside the restaurant until you're done eating? Or you can pay for our food if you'd like? Quote, I swear I felt some type of anger that no one has ever felt before. I cut her off after that. I literally did not respond to her text. It's been six years and she's still trying to contact me from time to time. I haven't responded since. I'm still angry at my past self for allowing that to go on for so long. I hope Op doesn't make the same mistakes I did. The givers should learn how to set their limits because the takers don't have any. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.